there, we are Claire and Nick Butcher and we've been together for over 20 years. We used to live in Wiltshire in the UK, with Nick having a background in bathroom sales and myself in hospitality and catering. In 2020, we decided to leave the daily grind to start a new life in France. Eventually, we ended up buying this. It's not officially a chateau, even though the village locals call it one. However, it is just as large and equally as much hard work as a chateau. With a horde of original features and the building having been unoccupied for many years, we are slowly breathing life back into her, whilst frequently still finding the many treasures she holds. Join us on our journey with our dogs, Flora and Merlo, as we renovate our Maison de Maitre, one turret short of a chateau. Hi everyone and welcome to this evening's vlog. Now, I will be completely honest with you, this week is kind of not going to plan. Most of the week we have spent time dealing with Nick's finger and the health issues that surround his finger paying for things, having stitches removed, the works, as you will see during the course of this evening's video. So we've not really managed to make a lot of progress on the outside bathroom. However, it will be coming later in the week, mainly from my side of things. Um, I've now had to take on extra roles and responsibilities in the household where my husband is an invalid due to the finger issue. Uh, also this week there has been another issue and if you've ever experienced this you will know how severe this is. Man flu. It's no laughing matter, no jokes aside, he is coming down with a bout of man flu. You can hear it in his voice. Yesterday I got fed up of him so I sent him off to the sofa. Uh, to go and watch TV whilst I brought him a myriad of things to try and solve this man flu. So yes, things don't always go to plan. But here's what we've been up to. It's market day and we are out and about. Uh, we're trying to get a car park because it's that full of people. It's such a change from last week when there was hardly anyone here. So I'm hoping that there's some quite good stuff there this week. Fingers crossed. There we go, another market week over and done with. Car, oh, still lively. It's time to make dinner. And something is coming into season here, which is marvellous. <laughs> you rotter. Anyway. This is a Girol. It is an awesomely epic mushroom. No funky side effects. So this evening I am going to make a mushroom soup with a bit left over to freeze. You will need the following items. On my ingredients board this evening, I have 500 grams of Girols. I have 500 grams of chestnut mushrooms. I have 750 grams of white closed cup mushrooms. One large red onion diced, four diced cloves of garlic. You only need to chop them roughly. 
a good handful of parsley chopped. You'll also need 250 grams of butter. You will need 300 milliliters of cream, pepper, salt, some truffle oil. This is optional. I just want to make mine a bit decadent this evening. Uh, a litre of a vegetable stock and some crispy bread to serve it with. I also have a large pan, a stick blender and a spatula. You will want a large pan. Gas is on high and I am putting in 250 grams of butter. Into the pan, I am going to add my large diced red onion and my garlic. And I'm just gonna leave those to sweat down and caramelize slightly. And then into the mixture, add in about 250 milliliters of your vegetable stock. Give it all a good stir, and then you can add in all of your mushrooms. I'm gonna go with the white close cup mushrooms first. I'm gonna go in with the girolles next. And then the chestnuts. Another good stir, a little bit more stock. All the mushrooms are now in the pan and we're just gonna leave that to sweat down for a while. Occasionally, I am going to stir it. Around 20 minutes later, and after some stirring, my mushrooms are nicely sweated down. And that's what they look like. So even when the mushrooms have released all of their moisture into the pan, I'm still going to add another 500 grams of stock. Add a good pinch of salt. I'm using rock salt. I'm using a Malden smoked salt because I think the flavour is epic. Ground, however you'd like to call it, pepper. And I'm going to bring this up to a good simmering point whilst occasionally stirring. Five to ten minutes later and you have something that looks like this. And you're ready to add the nice big handful of chopped fresh parsley and give that a nice stir. Leave it to sit for a minute or so. And then you can add in your cream. Oh, look at that. And again, finish that off with a nice stir. Oh, look at the colour. How autumnal. Again, leave it to simmer for a minute. Turn off the heat and just let it cool down just by a couple of degrees. And now everything's cooled down slightly, I'm going in with the stick blender, a tool which I know how to use. And then you are left with something with a nice consistency. Taste it. Wow. Now I'm gonna add probably a teaspoon to start with of this. It is English truffle oil. Just a teaspoon to start with, and then I am gonna mix. And I'm gonna taste again because I don't want it to be too truffly. After tasting it, I'm gonna add another half a teaspoon of truffle oil. You don't need a lot. Duh. And then I think we're ready to serve. Whilst everything was cooking and sweating down, I also managed to slice the bread and set the table. Oh, you're so lucky. So we have a good couple of ladlefuls each for dinner and some for the freezer. And there we have it, mushroom and truffle soup. Does the soup pass the taste test? Mm, no. That's a lot of T's and S's, isn't it? Taste Wait, test. Wow, that's really good. Good. <laughs> ah. 
after the other day's epic fail of everything, let's go out and try and pick things up. Day two. Let's finally see if we can get this package. And we have the package. So very quickly, just tell me, without unboxing or anything, what was in that package? A gift for your father. What what type of gift? A <laughs> nail gun. Do it work. If I break it, it's not my fault, is what he just said. If you break it, it is your fault. Because you've broken the train shop. <laughs> to replace his that broke. Not my fault. He warned me that it was likely to break. But out of the goodness of my heart and hopefully your heart as well, we thought we'd replace it for him. We would we need to use it first, so we're gonna unbox it really carefully, <laughs> use it and then wrap it up again and give it to him as a present. That's his Christmas sorted easy, isn't it? I thought he'd want whiskey, but now we can have a nail gun. Okay. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Sorry for spoiling the surprise. Okay, it's one little job I'm just gonna do. It's gonna take me ten seconds, maybe eight, to fit this. Um, it's about the last bit of trim that I was fitting before the nail gun that I had on loan uh, from father-in-law decided to stop working. So, uh, well, I bought a new one. Um, and I'm just going to use it quickly. Well there, that just finishes off the trim down the bottom. Um, so yeah, a bit further ahead. Good morning. Hello. <coughs> and you, good morning Merlo. Now, we do feed you, don't we? So why is there all this wood in your bed? Is this just a light snacking wood for during the night? Yeah? Good boy. Wet, miserable, horrible, rainy, crappy weather day. It's nice to see the autumn colours. It would be just nice if it was dry and crisp rather than, you know, like a wet sock. Anyway, Mr Butcher has had his stitches out this morning. The nurse has been, she's removed them and redressed his finger. Uh, apparently you're meant to moisturise it to, you know, help with the, uh, the wound or the, I can't remember the blooming name of it now, the scar. Uh, at the same time as doing that, she gave him the bill. It came to 41 euros and something for all of his visits from the nurses. And we have come to our local cabinet medical which I think is roughly a medical office or something, to come and pay the bill. And of course, it wasn't that simple. Back home for the checkbook. Yes, I said checkbook. They still use checks here. When's the last time you wrote a check? I'm not very good at writing them because <laughs> I don't really know. I don't really know any numbers or how to write the numbers. I can go to 10, 20, 30, absolutely fine. Anything more than that, can't buy it. <laughs> can't write the number. <laughs> it's probably a saving grace, really. So there's been three different nurses that have been coming out and doing his wounds and dressing them. And all three of them need paying separately, which is fair enough, but we didn't know that. So yeah, back home, checkbook, back there, pay the bill, another one done. Okay, so there we go, you've, you've got back the uh, the nail gun the that nail was gun. broken. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 One of my errands today is to go and pick up things from the supermarket that we can't get at the market. Now, normally we'd park at the other end of the supermarket and we'd go round together. But today, because it's raining and because somebody's had their stitches out, I'm going to leave them in this bar over here whilst I go and do the shopping. 
that all right? Do. <laughs> I'm back. I've come to collect you. Is that better than going around the shop? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> We had our trip out to go and pay the nurses for doing the home visits uh, yesterday. And now we have another little update. I've got the bill for my share of them doing the, that cast that they gave me to protect my, my finger. Um, which isn't a great sum of money, but... Um, and it says on the bill, Reglement par carte bancaire. So it's being settled by banker's card. So I've just rung them up. Uh, you can't do it over the phone. Okay, so the options are, we post them a check back to the 18th century, or we drive to their shop and pay, which is fine, but it's Wyan, so that's an hour each way. <sighs> what do you fancy, a day trip to Wyan? Yeah, let's go to the seaside. Just not, not today, because it's, yeah, yeah it's, <laughs> mm. 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 this is what the finger currently looks like. Now, I will give you a warning, look away now, if you are slightly, oh, no, it's not too bad. Oh, come on, you need to give everyone a warning. Yeah, look at that. Mmm. And last night when it was cold, what colour did it go? It went a bit purple, didn't it? it went a bit purple. <laughs> you feeling up for doing any work yet? <laughs> <laughs> Next question. So today's health activity for Nicholas is finger physiotherapy. Uh, the place that we have hopefully booked into is just a five minute drive from our house. The appointment was for 11 o'clock. We left the house at 20 to 11 and lo and behold, we are here earlier than anybody has ever arrived for an appointment. Um, I am in my office, this car, which I seem to spend most of my time in at the moment. However, behind me is a bakery and I have just been and got myself a lovely breakfast croissant to go with my cup of coffee from home. I wonder how long I'm going to be waiting today. 40 minutes. Right. I've got your class on. Thank you. So, what's your actions? Hey. What have you got to do with your finger now? Nothing. Go back on Tuesday. Do more of what I've just been doing. We right. have a, a ball for me to squeeze. <laughs> I can't believe we've just driven for you to come and squeeze a ball. Well, some of it was rolling and some of it was squeezing and bending and... <laughs> I'm not saying anything. <laughs> I do that for free. <laughs> so guess where we are? We are at Brico Shop. <laughs> it's windy. So you may be wondering why we're here. I am too. It's one of those days where it's really windy, where the wind actually blows the car, of course. And we've driven about 40 minutes to get here. Now, first off, thank you to everyone who bought us coffees last week. With the money from the coffee donations, we are adding to this and we are buying a replacement toilet. Yes. And I shall apparently be fitting this. Yes. I've lost, I've lost my husband somewhere. Sometimes it's not a bad thing. You can have a bit of a break. Oh, here he is. On the other really fun side, I've just found out that there's 20 sessions of physiotherapy for the finger. I hope you take a little bit more care with this one.
Well, from looking at the display model, they've done quite a nice job of uh, fitting the seat. Leave that down, of course, for good luck. Hmm, no chips. Toilet is secured in the rear of the vehicle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Join in on Sunday to watch me fit this toilet. Wow, can't wait. Don't forget that you still have time to join us for Wine of the Week. All you need to do is go back to Sunday's episode comedy and tragedy scroll to wine of the week pause your screen and take a selfie with your favorite beverage it doesn't have to be wine and email it to us at the expat butchers at gmail.com don't forget to add your name and whereabouts in the world you are you have until friday the 17th of November at midnight French time to submit your entry. And then you can feature in Wine of the Week on our Sunday the 19th of November episode premiering at 6pm UK time. Hope you can join us. Hi, Hi. and welcome to an extra special Wine of the Week. Extra special because we have a visitor today. Today we are here with Alison, one of our viewers who we've invited along for lunch for the day because it's also nice to meet you and make new friends. And she's having to bring us some wine. Look at this. <gasps> we have a Merlot. And it's not just any, it is gold medal a winning. gold medal winning one. So we'll see if that medal was justified or not. So I shall open this. That is the question. So, well, you can see how we've been getting on since last time. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this week's episode. If you have, please click the like button. And if you're not yet a subscriber, that's easy too. Yep. That's another button for that. <laughs> and it's free. You and can find free. us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, or X as it's now known, or on our website at www.theexpatbutchers.com and uh, well I will open this the problem with these uh, corked wines really, really... <laughs> take a while to oh, open oh there we go right well we'll obviously not let it breathe no. again why wait here we are oh ladies first <laughs> what you can't see is under the table we've got a couple of dogs that have come with Alison that uh, very keen on getting some cheese, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so we're having a doggy play date too. Well. So, well, welcome. Lovely to meet you. Yeah, cheers. 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 And, uh, mm. Ooh. Needs to warm up a little more, but that's tasting nice. That's lovely. So, thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, see you next mm. time. Cheers. <laughs>